Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is Sunday morning still. It's almost 12 noon. I uh, just finished putting the vlog together, uh, had a shower, got dressed so I can put together the chair. Got to put my snow tires on today. Uh, last night when I got home after Staples, uh, my mom showed up and gathered all my books and stuff because she's my accountant bookkeeper. And so we had to organize all that. Of course, we're going to put that in the vlog. Uh, and then uh, what did we do for dinner? Oh, Carol and I had uh, pizza that you make. It's like a kit from Little Caesars. So we had Little Caesars pizza and pizza bread and sat down and watched the late bloomer movie, which was thumbs up. Good movie. Definitely a would recommend. Uh, I don't think I don't, can't remember what the rating was on Netflix, but it's a total recommend. I really enjoyed it and I suggest you watch it too. So today we are going to be opening up this mail. I'll go grab it right now and then we'll put together the chair. Then we'll put on the snow tires because it's not a lot of snow, which is really good. Uh, I'll see if I can get Ben to help me and we'll put up our Christmas lights, get that done, put away the rain barrels before they freeze. Right now, Carol's out shopping, getting some groceries. And while that's happening, let's open up this mail. All right, again, here's that postcard from Germany. Once I think it says Natalid. I think that's your name. Uh, I can't really, some of the, the writing I can't read it. Sorry about that. But thank you very much for that beautiful postcard. And then we have this one. This is to Kim. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to get this to her. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll email her daughter back and, and get their postal address because I don't have that. Uh, and then we have this one from Georgia. Let's open this one up. This is an absolutely fantastic letter from Rebecca. She's been watching uh, my channels for a few years now, or a couple years now, and she uh, watches my channels along with Philip DeFranco, Charles Trippi, The Shaytars, and a few others. So thank you very much, Rebecca. That means a lot to me. And now we're gonna move on to this one. This is from Brooklyn. This is from Josh. Josh did some awesome decorating on the back. Very cool. All right, let's see if we can get into this box. So it looks like Josh sent me a whole bunch of stuff and he listed them all here. So here we go. So we got hot fries, sour sticks, mm, brownie bar. That looks awesome. Super snacks, pizza wheels. Don't know what that is. Oodles, oddles, oddles. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Last but not least, this box is from Oliver. He uh, left a comment on today's video just in time because he said this is the Spanish Postal Service box. So I guess when he dropped off the stuff, they have to repackage it maybe from Spain. I don't know. I don't live there. All right, we got some more stuff. We've got, I guess that's lemon. Kaz, lemon. And we got Lay's. Check that out. Got some chips. We got a chocolate bar. Another bag of chips. I can't believe that the chips aren't destroyed because of the bottle, uh, the can of pop. And then we have this jamming. I'm not sure what these things are. Oh, and you gave me a postcard too. Nice. We'll have to add that to the wall. Beautiful picture. B E A E U T F O L. <laughs> hey, Ken, here's some products from Spain for you to try. The Lays are exclusive to Spain and Portugal. The Ruffles are exclusive to Spain. Thanks, Oliver, for all this stuff. Very cool. I like to take a moment and thank these guys for taking the time out of the day, sending me postcards, sending stuff to Kim, sending me food. That is absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate it. If you want to jump on board and do the same thing, you can email me at kendomic at gmail.com. Uh, uh, and, and again, always email me first. Let me know what you're sending me, and then I'll give you uh, permission to kind of send it to me. Usually if I get a box of something and there's no return name on it, I just send it back because I have no idea who it's from. I need to know who it's from before I'm gonna open it up in my house. It's time to put the chair together.
all done the chair, as you can see. It took me 30 minutes. I'm actually sweating because I was trying to do it really fast. Uh, I totally screwed up. Um, forgot to put the washers in the six screws that hold the arms on. So I had to take each one out, put a washer on it, put them all back, and I'm done. And I've got my new chair. It's nice and comfy. Got to move this somewhere else. I still need it for when I have clients here and stuff. So I will probably put that off to the side. Not a whole lot of places in our house to put it. Again, we live in a small 900 square foot bungalow, no basement and only half the upstairs is a bedroom for my daughter, but this half is all storage. So there's not a whole lot of stuff. That's why my house is cluttered because there's no place to put anything. I noticed a few days ago that there's a really cool new feature on YouTube and it's this little heart button. And I'm not sure if you guys see it when I heart you or if you have the ability to heart people as well or it's only the creator who can heart on you. So like Oliver who sent me that package, I can click little hearts on people's comments showing them I appreciate their comment and then I can even heart myself. I don't know. So let's go uh, to McJuggernuts and just to, as an experiment. Yeah, so I don't have the heart button here. I can't heart other people's things. So it looks like it's just a, a creator thing. So let's look one more thing. If I go over to KBD Productions TV, and I think I can go on their channel, or on my channel, and go on to, let's say, Chocolate Glazed. Yeah, so I can heart people's comments here as well. So it's, I guess it's just the, the creator who, whose channel it is can heart your comment because I like it, which I like it. I like that, I like that feature. Very nice YouTube, way to go.